This is the 5.5 practice. And we are solving exponential equations. So I'm going to do the odds on here. So for this first one, the bases are the same. So if the bases are the same, that means you just set the exponents equal to one another. So that would be 3 minus 2x is equal to negative x. So then from there, it's just basic, basic algebra. I'm going to add 2x to each side. So that cancels out. And it would be 3 is equal to 1x. So x would then be equal to 3. Number 3. The bases are again equal. So I'm going to set the exponents equal to each other. So 2p is equal to negative 2p minus 1. And then I'm going to add 2p to each side. So that will be 4p is equal to negative 1. Now I have to then divide by 4 to each side. So p is going to be equal to a negative 1 over 4. All right, so five, the bases are not the same. So um, one thing you might want to do is you kind of have to do some reverse thinking. So what I'm going to do is just off the bat, I'm going to keep the two. So everything on the right-hand side, I'm going to keep the same. Oh, sorry. So two to the X plus two is just stays the same. Now with the eight, the bases have to be the same number. So I'm thinking 2 to what power is equal to 8? So 2 times 2 to the second power, so 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2. So that would be 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. So that's my, so, so another way of saying 8 is 2 to the third power. Now remember, i got to keep my exponent. So I'm going to put that in parentheses, x minus 1. And now the bases are the same. So I'll have 3x minus 1 is equal to x plus 2. And I'll distribute this. And then I'll solve for it. So I'm going to minus the x. So I'll have 2x, see, 2x minus 3 is equal to 2. Then I'm going to add 3, add 3, and then 2x is then going to be equal to 5. So x is going to be equal to 5 over 2. All right, let's go to number 7. So the bases are not the same. So I have to make the bases the same. I'm going to look at the smaller number. And so I'm going to keep that one the same. 5 to the 3x plus 1 is equal to. Now, I have to think about like how can I make both sides have the same base. Well, if I have to keep it at 5, 5 to what power equals 25? So just 5 squared. And then we'll keep the exponent. So that's 2x plus 1. So now that the bases are the same, I can set the exponents equal to each other. So 3x plus 1 is equal to 2 parentheses. Sorry, I messed that one up. 2 parentheses x plus 1. It should just be x right here up there. So then I'm just going to distribute this. So 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 2. I'm going to minus the 2x. So I will get x or 1x plus 1 is equal to 2. I'm going to have to minus the 1 on each side. So x is equal to 1. Number 9. 
Again, the bases are not the same. I'm going to keep this smaller base. And then if this base is 8, that means this base has to be 8. So 8 to what power equals 64? So 8 to the second power. And then I'm going to keep the A. Okay. Oh, I actually did that wrong. So now that my bases are the same, I can set the exponents as equal. So 2 times a is just 2a, and then we're going to set that equal to a plus 2. I'm going to minus the a on each side, so we'll get just a is equal to 2. So this one, it might be a little bit tricky. I kind of, I have to think about the bases of both of these numbers. So this is where your calculator is going to come into play. So like, if you think about it, um, let me pull my calculator up. So if I did 36 squared, I get 1,296. So that's way too big, but I know that one of the square or the square root of 36 is six. So is it possible for my bases to be to be um, some sort of exponent of the larger number? So what I mean by that is six to what power? is equal to 36. So I know that's two, and then I'm gonna keep the two X, and then six to what power is 216? So I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'm gonna have to guess. So I'll do something like six to the fifth power. And I get something huge, I get 7,000 something, so that's not gonna be it. And I'll do, six to the, I'll try the third power. And that'll be 63. So let's try six to the fourth power. That's 1,296. So what we need to do is we need to rethink about what our base could be. So obviously six is not working. So maybe we'll try our lowest base could be three. Let's try that one. So maybe it would be three and three. So three to what power equals 36, if we can do that. So if I do three to the fourth power, It would be eighty one, so then three to the third power equal twenty seven, so can't use three either. And what I realized I did wrong is that I should have went with the six, just keep it simple, because six is gonna work. So six, so three wouldn't have worked no matter what, because three to, no, or three to, three to any power won't equal 36. So I'll just keep it on the left. Six to what power is, 30, is 36, so six squared, and that'll be two X is equal to, and then six to what power is 216, and the one thing I didn't do is I didn't keep going. So 6 to the third power is 216, and I'm going to keep the x minus 1. So then I can set, since these cross out, I'll just set these equal to each other. So that will look like 2 times 2x is equal to 3x minus 1. 
So I'll just distribute these. So I'll get 4x is equal to 3x minus 3. Then I'll get the x all by itself on one side. And I'll get x is equal to negative 3. So as you can see, that I made a mistake in that one. Uh, instead of, uh, I immediately went to like 6 to the 5th power, that was too much. 6 to the 4th power is too much, and I immediately said, oh, that might be something wrong. Well, there's a little bit of guesswork in here. We're going to have to play with the exponents. Alright, one more little tricky part of these is that if you're dealing with fractions, don't freak out. Just think about this. I know that I have to get the same base, but like, how can I turn this fraction into a number? Well, we know that, um, it, although it is a number, but a fraction is, r is really just equal to 3 to the negative 1. So remember how we were doing fractions where, for example, if it's 3 to the negative 1, we didn't like that, so we took everything that was over 1 and we put it at the bottom. So then that would equal 1 is, all, is equal to 3. You can do the same thing in the opposite fashion. So on this one right here, we have the number one third. And I want to get that to where it has a base of three. So I can do that by, if I have one third, think about it like this. If I bring this three up, this is like three to the one. If I can bring that up, that's going to equal 3 to the negative 1. Okay? So then oh, now I have a base of 3, and on the right-hand side, there's a base of 3. So now, I forgot to keep this. So now, what I can do is set the exponents together. So these cross off. These are set equal to each other. So it'll be negative 1, x plus 2, is equal to x minus 1. So then just distribute, so that'd be negative x minus 2 equals x minus 1. And then we'll do it we'll minus the x. I'll get negative 2x minus 2 is equal to negative 1. I'm going to add 2, so I'll get negative 2x is equal to 1, divide by negative 2. So then, x is just equal to negative 1 half. So once again, when you look at a fraction, like say in number 14 here, I saw that the base is 2 over here. So if I'm going to change a fraction into like a whole number, if it's 1 over 2, that's just like saying 1 over 2 to the first power. So I can change that by bringing this up and then making it a negative exponent. So that's just like saying 2 to the negative 1. And then you would just set the exponents equal to each other and you'd be ready to go. All right, two more. Okay, so... It looks like I only have a base of 2. So I'm going to keep my right hand side the same. And then if I have the base on the right as 2, the base on the left has to be 2. So 2 to what power is equal to 8? So it's 2 to the third power. And then I just bring my exponents down. So now these bases cross out, and I can just set the exponents equal to each other. So 3x minus 1 is equal to x plus 3. So 3x minus 3 is equal to x plus 3. And I minus the x, and I get 2x minus 3 is equal to 3. Add 3. We get 2x is equal to 6. I'm going to divide by 2 on each side. So then x will be equal to 3. All right, 17. 
I look at my two bases first, and then I think, okay, n 9 to what power equals 81? So that's just 9 squared. So I can leave, uh, leave the one on the right-hand side the same. So the smaller number is left alone, because that's the smaller base. And then the 81 is just like saying 9 to the second power. And then we leave the 2x plus 1. So now the bases are the same. They cancel out. So then 2, 2x plus 1 is equal to 5x minus 1. If I distribute, that will be 4x plus 2 is equal to 5x minus 1. That's minus 5x on each side. So I get a negative x plus 2 is equal to negative 1. Got a minus 2 on each side. So negative x is going to be equal to negative 3. So I have to divide by negative 1 to get rid of that negative 1 in front of the x. So then x is going to be equal to 3. All right, and that's it. So if you have any email, if you email, if you have any questions, email me. Um, otherwise, have a good night.